Look, I loved Scooby-Doo back in the day. It was pretty much one of my favourite cartoons out there. We have a new film coming out on VOD called Scoop. That kind of shows how much they're trying with this film. Alright, so we have a backstory scene where a young Shaggy meets the brown Sco Scooby-Doo dog. And as always, it's all the mystery things, that, all the stuff you used to love from the TV, blah de blah de blah The sad thing is, this movie is mediocre. The story hardly makes any sense. And if it was going to make sense, it would have worked well better in the TV ser cartoon series. Suddenly, the live-action films of the noughties look more convincing. And those movies... I understand the bad rep, but at least they actually tried with an adaptation. Ugh. This is not a good movie. Which is sad, because this has some good talent in it, you know, with Zac Efron and Amanda Seyfried, I think. Yes, this is not a good animated movie. I don't like how it's drawn. I don't like how it's framed. Hmm. This will definitely not be the best animated film of the year. Come to think of it, how am I even going to do a best and worst films of the year? It's such a shame to see a childhood classic fall in the way this movie has. Such it's an quite an inferior creation to say the least. This project was definitely this film it's not good. <sighs> the acting talent is good, I like some of the voices, but nothing can compare to the original Shaggy and Scooby-Doo voices. This movie is a great letdown to those who love Scooby-Doo, me included. Interestingly, I just found this out. The woman that plays... Clint Barton's wife in the MCU played Velma in the noughties Scooby-Doo movies. <laughs> Pity what she wasn't around to voice her again in this cringe fest. Scooby-Doo. More like Scooby-Don't. I've heard that Bad Boys for Life is coming close to being out on DVD. We'll see what happens there. And yeah, I'll buy it. You know I will. We have certainly missed out on a lot of that of movies this year. Hopefully we'll be able to catch up. Hope being the operative word. Hmm. Can't wait to see what else comes out. Well, oh, does make me wonder what will get dropped back. I'm going to give the new Scooby-Doo movie a D.
or Scoob, as this movie likes to be wants to be called. Uh. So, guys, there you go. That was my movie review on Scoob. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly didn't. As always, make sure to like, share and subscribe. You guys are always the best. Hopefully we'll be able to get through this and have some kind of normality. Although I am able to go and get the rest of my uni stuff on Friday. Fingers crossed, if everything goes smoothly. So, yep, that's what I got. Look out for more videos soon. Take care of yourselves. Peace and it are out. Cut the check.